So in my last games, I have took 3D models from uh, websites. So I need to learn how to 3D model. So then I can make games with 3D models I've actually made. So to start off, I'm probably not going to make super high poly 3D models. No, that's for another day. I'm going to make a low poly game today with low poly 3D models. Anyway, let's get to work. So I start off making the 3D model of the AI I'm going to be making. So my um, idea for the AI is that it's going to be a little, a little abstract because the characters are going to be emitting light. Like, they're going to be glowing red or blue. So then I made and named the game Low Poly Game. I then got lazy and cut animations from Mixamo. <laughs> I still made the 3D models, so just importing them into Mixamo and getting animations from that because I got lazy. So I then started making the emitting glowing light materials. Kind of like the material you'd use if you're making a lightsaber. So then I imported my 3D model, but that was looking a bit big, so I had to, I had to fix that. So then I started on the player character, the character you control in the game. Yeah, he emits blue light because he's pretty much, and yeah, he he uh, he glows blue. I then went ahead and imported a gun 3D model and imported it into my game, and uh, that's also looking a bit big. I then finished making the main menu. I then started making the dog 3D model. The dog is the milk of Carlson and the complement of super hot. The complement being super hot. When you get to the dog, you win because you're trying to save your dog. That's that's the whole point of the of the game. Then I started on the AI who was going to be shooting your character. I then stole all this blueprints to make our character die with ragdoll physics. I then very carefully copied a tutorial so then our character can wall run. So I had a problem with the AI that shoots. When I would move on the Z axis up or down, the AI would rotate the entire body. Just going against all laws of gravity. And I had some fun with it. But eventually, I got it working, and it moves its spine up and down. I then started on the AI that runs at you, trying to attack the character with its fists. So I made a health variable so then the character isn't invincible, and now the player character can die with ragdoll physics. I then went on to making a destructible mesh, which would later be used as glass. I also had to turn off gravity to see how that would look. I then finished off the game by working on the levels and add music, and now I packaged the game ready to play. So, this is the final product. The only thing I don't like is the level 5. It was a bit laggy and I forgot to rebuild the level, but I do like the rest of the game. The idea of this game was to make a low poly game, where I also made my own low poly 3D models, and I did do that. I only did like, 4 models, but I'm pretty proud of them even if they are low poly. I hope to make more 3D models in the future, maybe even a really detailed 3D model. So uh, the game was inspired by super hot and a game called Carson made by a youtuber that goes by the name of Danny. You could say I stole his idea and I think I might have even came across the same tutorial for making the 3D model of the character but come on the games are so different. He has milk I have dog. Yeah um okay yeah this this is bootleg Carson so I hope you enjoyed the low poly 3D models and game if so subscribe and see more games and i'll see you in the next video bye for now